Short circuit diagnostics can be quite tricky and I've got a job on over there right now that I'm having a bit of a challenge with. There are two things you need to be aware of when approaching short circuit diagnostic faults. The first one's quite common and that's the blown fuse. Generally the symptom is going to be something is not working and if you're very unlucky you're going to have melted wires. This generally happens when a power supply touches a ground and that's usually when someone's up the fuse size above what the circuit can take. The other type of short circuit fault is when we get a short across consumers. What happens here is something works when it shouldn't. I don't know if some of you remember that old prank we used to do on apprentices when you wire up the brake light switch to the horn circuit. Quite funny seeing them drive off. Now on this car we've got quite an interesting fault because every time you turn on the vehicle the tailgate pops open and you can close it, drive away and it won't do it again. And to make this job even more interesting, if you take a look inside the control unit, there's evidence of water damage. So what would you do here? Fire a control unit out and see if it fixed the problem or diagnose it properly? Well, in the next Mechanic Mindset live session on Sunday, the 22nd of June, 7 p.m. UK time, we're going to diagnose this one together and it's going to be quite interesting. Don't worry if you can't make it because we'll put the recording up straight after.